My name is Ronald. I usually go by the name of Ronnie and usually don't give big introductions. And I can't explain myself. I'm pretty a layman guy. I just know that when you're deciding between two sides, we have one of these. I might have three of them leaving openings in between on the same stick. Do you notice the size and the length will actually tell me how much of a tilt I'm allowed to have. So if we implicate the same thing towards Earth, we're going to get that understanding. So we push it to one side and then the other side. So this one is going to cover either two portions. It's either going to cover the um, two, three or the one, two. So if we go one, two, if we do Rodin's coil, it would be like this. It would be one, two, right? And then this, then we would have to go from two, right? Here we go, one, two, then we'd have to come down here. Then we'd have to go down here with the stick. Then we'd have to go with here with the stick and then here. And that's how Rodin's coil would work. Something very, very, very simple. Second thing I want to speak about, also pretty simple. It only has a value if you can put a value to it. Okay? That's what I'm here for. You want to ask me a question about something that's, that's numeric, that's how this is intertwined in a cobweb, alpha omega. Connect two from four. I did the design a couple of days ago. When you have a point in between two over here, and it's the five point star, you will cover four over here. So it'll be two with one point center covering four with two centers. I'm going to have to draw this out. I'm going to have to draw this out. Basically, like this. We have this one in between here and here. Now you have to make sure that these sticks. Right, come out of here. We have to see the direct angle of this center. Okay, is used up as the pole. It's lost in the pole. You can't get it back. It's a period of time lost on the lost on the poles. So what we're going to do now is show you something pretty easy. Here's your S and P. Here's your G and here's your K. Three times five, three plus five will equal fifteen and eight, twenty-three. 2 times 7, 2 plus 7 will equal 14, 9, 23. This is how your 19 S and P, where P is 7, where S is valued at 1. But since it's valued at 1 plus 9 equals to 10, or 1 minus 9 equals to 8, it'll make 8 and 7, or it'll make 7 and 7 coming together in S and P. When we come together in G and K, we have 7 come 11, the gateway. 7 come 11, the gateway. Now, I might have to put this on pause. I'm not, I don't know if I paused it, but anyways, 7 times 37 equals 259. Okay? When eventually we'll work itself up into these numbers. 11 times 481 equals 5297. 5291. 50, 5291 divided by 7 equals to 755 85714. 85714. 85714. So we take this out now and we look for. 85714. It doesn't give you the continuation of 2. 85714. It moves over. It's first it's first, then it's second, then it's first. So it's first, then it's second, then it's first, then it's third, then it's second, then it's third. The movement of numbers. Basic, 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 basic. It's all it's all a number, tumbler number, uh, uh, but all the numbers will always come out the same. Um, we have to understand that, we mentioned this before, this whole thing is dividable by two or by threes. And I still don't like this video. I still don't like this video. There's another numeric faction we have to understand. This is where one and one splits. If this was M and N, this would be O. 06 
to 6-6. Six, six. six and 6 on both sides. We have 36, 225. Take away 36 equals to 89, 99, 109, 190. Sorry, equals to 189. This take away this equals to 189. 189 times 27 times 5291. 189 times 5291 will bring you to 9999. And that's all on here. So the numbers are perfect. So this is actually perfect. Somebody made this to become perfect. And if the earth was this perfect, then it had to be created because it's impossible to get this unless somebody found out exact numbers. But all these numbers calculate. I did want to bring something else up. Did I bring this up already? 7286 times 6 equals 4 and 3, 7. 6 and 1, 7, 7, 7, 7. And when you bring it together on the roulette, hold on a second, somehow they're all chopped up. When you bring it together on the roulette, it shows up 7, 1, 6, 3, 4. Those numbers show up right over here and show up right over here. Now, what's the coincidence about this is that the Mayan date of 25,920 is dividable by 360. The Mayan date of 25,920 is 4320. 4320 times 6. But all zeros equal 6, so we're going to go like this. 4321. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 10. Multiplied, it's 24. The total is 34, the DC world. Not happy with this video again. 54 times 5698. 50, uh, can, I see, can I see this? 54 by 5698 equals 307,692. 307,692. 54 times 5291 equals 2, 285,714. 285,714. This one is in the second spot. This one is in the fourth spot. So all the numbers, 27, 54, 81. Okay. Um, we're going to do, let's say, 108. 108 times, now we're going to do 216. 216 times 28. Hold on a second, I want to see what the 28. Um, 28, 49, right, which is 7 times, which is 747, 7, 7 times 7. It's all out of Pluto birth, which equals to 615, 384. 615, 384, 615, A, E, and I, 6 times 8 times 6. And 615, uh, 384 should not show up on here, so I must have made a mistake. Um, just give me a second. 615, 38. Well, they all, 615, the last number doesn't show up, but 615, 384. 615, 384, 615, 384. Where there is 6, there is no 2, and when there is a 2, there is no uh, 8, I think it was. What was it? Anyways, that's how it works. So if we would get, um, I don't know, um, uh, give me a number, 216 times 5291 equals 2, 1, no, it's got to be divided, 5, 7, one four two eight five seven one four two eight because those are constant numbers they automatically work seven nine eleven thirteen dividable fifty two eighty one and uh, twenty eight forty nine or I like to use the higher value this is the low value twenty eight forty nine the high value is fifty six ninety eight cycle seven times seven seven times four seven times twelve. 9 and 2 is your birth, 42 is communication of the 9 lives of the cat. You don't need 6 because 2 times 4, 2 plus 4 creates 6 and 8. And 6 is a reverse because it's the 9 is the birth of the 6. 
9 times 6, 54 brings in the sun. 9 times 5, 45. 9 times 8, 72 makes the markings of time. 72 times 4 is 288. 288 times 1.25 equals 360 degrees because all these numbers, I just remember them because that's exactly what they do. Raphael 7286 in a constellation of Pegasus. I have to stop with this. I have to get onto something small now. Everything's been a little bit too open. I'm not getting across enough. I don't I don't like it myself, but I have to do what I have to do. Raphael 7286 in a constellation of Pegasus. Trimmed up a bit.